lesson, topic four, performance assessment 251-252 is using, requires you to use this graph over here, chart table, to answer some questions on the front and also on the back. So make sure that you're still using this, dogs, cats, rabbits, fish, on the back of the paper as well. So good idea to first is to read the title of the table. Number of pets, and then clearly we have these four animals, which hopefully you're reading along with me dogs, cats, rabbits, fish. So, students draw pictures of their pets, the chart shows the number of pets they have. So, this dogs, cats, rabbits, fish. How many dogs and cats? Do the students have show your work. It's pretty straightforward. All you're going to do is take two numbers, dogs and cats, show your work. How many they have? A couple different ways you can do it. You can just do the old fashioned grouping 9 plus 1, 10. Zero ones, one, one ten regroup. Four, five, six, seven. Four plus two is six, plus one more is seven. Seventy. Another way you could have done it and say forty one and twenty nine. Well, forty one plus twenty nine. Four tens, two tens. Forty plus twenty, this is partial sums, equals sixty. Nine plus one is your ones. Ten. Sixty plus seven, sixty plus ten is. 70. Wow. Equal. So you got partial sums, regrouping, just two ways you can do it. Whatever makes more sense to you. Write down my answer. Make sure you show your work. Number two, how many cats and fish do the students have? Cats, fish. Show your work. Again, when you're working on addition, you need to make sure that they're aligned vertically. 29 plus 24, let's just check. I have cats. I have fish. 29, 24, 29, 24, or partial sums. 29, 24. 29 plus 24. 2 tens, 2 tens is 40. 9 tens, I mean 9 ones, 4 ones. 9 ones, 4 ones. 13. Partial sums. Doesn't require any regroupments. 53. Let's check over here. 9 plus 4, 13. Regroup the 1. 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 1 more is 5. Wow. Partial sums regrouping. Same answer. Same sum. 53. Flip it over. Use partial sums to find the cats, rabbits, and fish the students have. Then use regrouping to check your work. Just what we did in the front. Twice. Cats, rabbits, fish. That's three. So you're going to have to flip the paper back over because one, unless you have a photographic memory, you're not going to remember where the cats, rabbits, fish. So let's do two cats first. Cats, 29. Write it in. Rabbits. Flip it over. Let's check for rabbits. Six. This is when it gets tricky. If you put the six in the tens, you'll have 60 instead of six ones. Third, but not least, fish, 24. Partial sums, tens, partial sums, ones, and then you have your sum. Two tens, two tens. Two, two, plus ten, two plus two is four, four tens is... 40. Once. 9 plus 6 plus 4. The trick we've been, the strategy, the skill we've been working on is finding two numbers you can add together to make a 10. 6 plus 4 makes a 10. 10 plus 9, 19. Adding these together. This is your break line. Everything down here, the 10s and 1s, find your sum. 0 plus 9 is 9. 4 plus 1 is 5. 
Now, it says check it with regrouping. It says you re use regrouping to check your work. You can't just take 59 and write it down here yet. You've got to double check it. All you're going to do is take these three numbers and put them in. There's three of them. One, two, three. 29, 6, 24. You can stack them 29, 24, 6 in descending order. Biggest to smallest, greatest to least. This works as well. 6 and 4, again, it's 10. 10 plus 9 is 19, but we put the 9 down for 9 ones, regroup the 1. There's your regroup. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 1 more is 5. Ding, 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 ding. 59, 59. That's when you know either you did it wrong two times or you did it right. 5. Students also draw 10 hamsters, 19 birds, and 5 mice. Complete the model. Ten, nineteen, five. And then part B, complete the equation, show how many hamsters, birds, and mice. Hamsters, birds, and mice. So you're doing a model up here for the same problem, 19 and 5. You're just doing it twice, two different ways. Model here, so you're trying to find this answer and this answer are exactly the same. This is an equation. This is a model. Now you need to add them. My suggestion, either use partial, partial sums or stack them, regroup them, write your total. So here's two ways to do it. I'll show you one way down here and up here. So 10, 19, 5. Those are stacked. You can add them. Down here, partial sums. I've got 110, 2 10s, 20. Plus, let's add the 1s, 9 and 5, 14 partial sums. The tens, I have two tens, and zero, and nine, and five is 14. 20 plus 14 is your partial sums. Up here is nine plus five is 14. Regroup the one, one, two, three, 34. Down here is zero plus four is four. Two plus one is three. 34, 34, 34, 34. Make sure you write it in here as well. So 10 plus 9 plus 5 is equal to 34 in your model. 10 plus 9 plus 19. 10 plus 19 plus 5. 10 plus 19 plus 5 equals 34 down here. Here's your equation. Down here it says explain why you can use regrouping when you add. Explain why you can use regrouping when you add. I wrote, you can regroup numbers to take 10 or more ones, and eventually it's not just going to be ones, it'll be tens and hundreds and thousands. You can regroup numbers to take 10 or more ones and turn them into a 10. Very groovy.